Okay, this is tutorial number two. Here I would like to introduce you to the basic views and shortcuts in Blender. Let's take the default cube which has been created in uh, Blender. Now, first thing is that let's understand the different views which are useful in uh, designing your object also to have a better view in some particular aspects now let's see on the top left what is given here is the view that is currently being displayed it says user perspective so there are two different views one is the perspective view other one is the orthographic view <clears throat> if you know the graphics basics uh, the perspective view just simulates our human vision system where the parallel lines do not appear to be parallel and the other side we have the orthographic which is uh, how the geometries are produced where the parallel lines appear to be parallel so both of them are useful in designing your objects and moving around uh, keeping uh, an object on top of another scaling for any set of transformations so you need to keep switching between this perspective and orthographic views let's see how to switch between this uh, perspective and uh, orthographic view look at this top left i'm going to press number five in my number keypad this is very important you have to understand the number keypad in your uh, uh, keyboard if you don't have the number keyboard uh, number pad in your keyboard you need to configure in a way that this number five on the top of your keyboard can work uh, how to configure that basically if you go to um, user preferences you can see uh, <clears throat> the input in which uh, there is an option called emulate numpad if you enable that by default sometimes it is disabled so just enable that so that you can use your keyboard normal keyboard uh, starting from 0 to 1 on top of your keyboard instead of the number pad so that's how you can do it I have already enabled the uh, emulation of numpad anyways in my laptop I have the number pad so I'm using that so 5 is to change your views between perspective and ortho and you can see how the object looks in the perspective and orthographic view and now I'm using set of number pad keys to uh, move around it's basically the number eight four six and two to move around the object you can see i'm just moving around the object by pressing up arrow which is number eight and two is down arrow which is opposite of the page up this is page down so and then for the right move i just use number six you can see around and number four is to move left so this is basically in the number pad and you can still use the same keys in your normal number keyboard on top of your uh, keyboard so <clears throat> after you enable, uh, enable the emulation of the number pad all right now i use number one to see the front view whatever it is it is perspective or orthographic if you are in perspective number one will give you the front perspective uh, if I give number three, it will give me right side perspective. If I give number seven, it will give me top perspective. So I repeat number one for the front perspective, number three for the right perspective, and number seven for the top perspective because I'm in perspective view now. So the same thing you can do it after changing it to orthographic view by pressing five. Now you can see top ortho. Now I'm going to change it to uh, front ortho by pressing one now you can see front ortho and number three is for the right orthographic view and number seven is for the top orthographic view so depending on your design uh, views you can change this and this will be really helpful in um, moving around the three, di three dimensional space and then setting up your your 3d models so that's about the views and the shortcuts with respect to the number pad and I forgot to tell you one important key which is in your number pad. If you press a zero, it will give you the camera view. So you have seen the camera which is on, for example, I will show you the camera around here. So this is the camera. 
let me change it to perspective view so that uh, we can see the camera better let me show you per five front Arthur. you can see here in the front perspective where is it where is it it's it's somewhere hiding yeah it's there you can see on the right side that's the camera so how your object looks when I see from the camera that's number zero so that's how your object looks when you see from the camera you know this border is looking in orange color which means that by default now you have chosen camera if I chose the cube you can see the orange color line around the camera view is disappeared and it is now available over this cube all right so that's the end of the tutorial in the next tutorial i'll be talking about how to move this object in the three-dimensional space with respect to each axis